guys, it's Techmaster56 here today, and today I am here to review the Apple Watch Series 1 in 2017. Let's get right into that. This is the Apple Watch Series 1, and this is the review of Is It Worth It in 2017. And shockingly, this watch holds up quite well after the two years of aging that it has. So, the new watch that has come out so far is the Series 2. This is the Series 1, like I said. The Series 3 will be coming out quite soon, but it's not out yet. And the Series 2 will run you about $400, and the Series 1 will run you about $250. So, with that price difference, you're probably thinking, mm, there's got to be a pretty good difference between those, isn't there? There's got to be something that's really worth that extra $150. Now, the cool thing is, there really isn't. The only difference is, the Series 2 comes with 50 meters of waterproofing out of the box. Just like, you can put it on your wrist, and it's, oh gosh, it's waterproof. And this one isn't that way. You can pay an extra $60 and get this Catalyst case, and it still is less than the Series 2, but it is just as waterproof. So the other thing is, it has a slight processor boost on the Series 1. So, as you can see, the Series 1 is no slow little watch. It's actually quite quick, even after, like I said, two years. So that meaning, obviously, don't go for the Series 2. And this one is definitely worth it so far. So, so far, we're not seeing any reason not to buy the Series 1. And that kind of concludes all the way to the end of the video. So both the watches have the same OLED screen, but the Series 2 does have a slight battery boost, but some people even actually say they have battery, better battery life on the Series 1, which is kind of shocking to some people, but it's mildly like, no, oh, no, the success isn't that way, but yeah, it's great, so... I'm going to cut this part out. So, is it truly worth it in the end? I would totally say yes. If you're willing to spend $250 for a smartwatch, I would totally recommend this to be your go-to smartwatch to get into the Apple kind of watch world or even just the smartwatch world. Obviously, you need an iPhone to use it, but totally go ahead and buy one of these in 2017. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace out.